What's going on guys? It's Ben here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to be going to Aston Villa versus Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, I'm not sure about this game, you know, Sheffield Wednesday looked really good on the attack. But their defence isn't very strong, very similar to us actually. But I think I can see this going to us and I think it's going to be a 3-1 win. Uh, I think Abraham, Kodja and Balassi are going to score. Uh, just because, you know, I think that. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you. <laughs>
And we are back. Quite a disappointing game. We did lose 2-1. But I think that there are some positives to take out of this game, definitely. John McGinn's goal was incredible. Um, I think it's all about confidence at the end of the day. We lacked confidence and it showed it. They were extremely confident. They moved the ball well. They were creative. They had players on the end of the ball. And at the end of the day, it was probably a fair result. We didn't really deserve to win the game. Um... I think a point we'd been lucky to get. Um, it could have happened, the point, very easily. Well, not very easily, but it could have happened. Um, but I think a Sheffield Wednesday win was imminent from the first five minutes. You could tell it wasn't going to go right for us. It's a shame because some of their players had one of the best performances they've had for Villa and some of the players had, a, had an awful performance. Um, McGinn, incredible today. Um, everything about him, I just love. You know, he, he's he's a top footballer. Um, you know, the goal he scored was something else. And I'm toying with making a new series uh, where I do like a goal review, where I get all the Villa goals and I sort of break them down and I review them and give them a rating, things like that. And at the end of the season, I might go through and, you know, pick my goal of the season for Aston Villa. I don't know, maybe. Um I thought Hutton had a good game again. Uh, he's a very positive player. Likes to go forwards, likes to play the ball forwards. Balassi, when I came on the pitch, looked quite good. Uh, Kodjo and Abraham didn't really get into the game, but that was because we didn't really have that support. I thought Grealish had a poor game today. He didn't really do much. Uh, he seemed lost when he had the ball. He didn't really know where to go with it. Um, El Mahamadi has not been right for the last two games now. He's been negative, negative, negative. He won't try and beat his man. He won't try and play forwards. He always plays directly to feet as well. Uh, there's been times where he's been playing the overlap and instead of playing it front so the player can put a first-time cross in, he's been playing it directly to the player's feet and giving them problems and getting the ball into the middle. Uh, and instead of you know having to go at, you know passing forwards around his man, he always looks backwards towards the defence. And other teams know that we have a shaky defence and they pressure us into making a quick decision. And quite often the quick decisions turn out badly for us. You know, Yedi Nak just hitting the ball out. Uh, and in the aerial battles, especially, you know, with McGinn and that, we're not going to win them, you know. Um, and that's that, really. Um, props to Sheffield Wednesday. The, the, they had a, a really, really good game of football. They outclassed us, pretty much. They were confident, they were attacking, they were clever. They knew what they wanted to do and they they really took the game to us. So fair play to them. They, they beat us fair and square. Um, they came in their numbers as well. There was 36,000 in the stadium today. They opened up the upper away stand and they completely filled their place up. You know, um, They had a really good game. 
you know, you you could tell that. But they they were playing really, really, you know, smart attacking football. Uh, I thought some of them were lucky not to get yellow cards at, at times. Um, every, every you know week now, the referee hasn't been the greatest for us. There've been a few decisions that the referees got badly wrong that have cost us. You know, the amount of free kicks that they were getting and the ones that we weren't getting, we were frustrated. And when the away, the home fans are getting frustrated, it's the whole mood in the stadium uh, for for your team go, goes down. You know, our mood was down because our performance wasn't great and the referees' decisions were frustrating us. And that opened the door for Sheffield Wednesday's fans to start, you know, shouting. And, and you'll see from the clips, you know, they were vocal. They were, you know, they were they really got behind their team. And, you know, I, I only really recorded Villa chances, to be fair. Um, but that there were plenty of chances that, you know, look, maybe we were lucky not to concede in. But there are a few chances as well that we may be unlucky, didn't we score? Uh, Hurahan had a really good hit for about uh, 25 yards out. Um, keeper pushed it onto the post. Um, maybe he could have scored a head or two. McGinn's goal was just class. Um, really great goal. Uh, but no, I thought overall our performance wasn't awful, but it was negative. We we didn't play the attacking football that we should be doing with the attack we had. Um, we had a slight change as well with um, Adoma starting. Uh, and I think Adoma's a brilliant player, but um, maybe he wasn't the right choice uh, for the sort of team that Sheffield Wednesday were playing. They played well, they played really good football. And in the end, yeah, it, it was a fair result. But we need to take the positives out of this game, like McGinn's performance, Hutton's performance, Chester's performance. Take those positives and put them into to next game against Bristol. Uh, and because that's on the telly as well, I can, you know, I can get some videos and things like that. I might do a review, I might do a live reaction to, to the game on the telly. Um just have my camera with me. Um, but no, um, overall, I'd give our performance probably a 5 out of 10. And there's an 8. They they played really good football. Uh, props to them, you know. And uh, on, to, on to Bristol and then on to, to Preston. Um, and if we, if we can beat, if we can get back to winning ways against Bristol and take our momentum into uh, Preston, you know, and so be it. That was only our fifth home defeat under Steve Bruce, which really shows that our ground is a fortress to come to. It's not easy to go there and get all three points. You know, five teams have done it, and for part of that time, we were in the Premier League, and that season we were outclassed in every game we played. Uh, and only five teams have actually come back with all three points, um, which does show something about us, you know. But recently, it's been more can we score more goals than they can rather than can we stop them from scoring goals uh but i think this is going to be the end of the video i might upload one more um later today or depending on which one uploads first before this one uh about mcginn's goal once i can find a decent video of mcginn's goal i'll get it i'm going to slow it down i'm going to you know sort of um review it um and yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully, and uh, up the villa. Bye.